ತಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಕೂಡ ನಿಮ್ಮದೇ ಆಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ವಿತ್ ಪರಶುರಾಮ್ಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತವನ್ನು ಕೊಡ್ತೀನಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಎಟಿ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಪ್ರಾರಂಭ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಮೊದಲ ಗದ್ದೆ ಪಾಠ ಹೀರೋ ಮತ್ತೆ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರೀಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಮತ್ತೆ ಫೋರ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನು ನೋಡೋಣ ಇದೇ ತರದ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಗಳ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ನಾವು ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿಂದಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀವಿ ಅವುಗಳನ್ನ ಸಹಿತ ನೋಡಿ ಉಳಿದ ವಿಷಯಗಳನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ಬೇಗನೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಎಸ್ ಅವುಗಳನ್ನ ಕನ್ನಡದಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಕನ್ನಡ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಮತ್ತು ಸ್ಕೋರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಯಾಕೇಜ್ ಹಿಂದಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹಿಂದಿ ಸ್ಕೋರಿಂಗ್ ಮತ್ತು ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಯಾಕೇಜ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಕೂಡ ಸ್ಕೋರಿಂಗ್ ಮತ್ತು ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಯಾಕೇಜ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋಗಳು ಅಂತಿದ್ದಾವೆ ಅವುಗಳನ್ನು ನೋಡಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ವಿಡಿಯೋಗಳನ್ನು ಲೈಕ್ ಶೇರ್ ಮತ್ತು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಮಾಡೋದನ್ನು ಮಾತ್ರ ಮರೆಯದ್ರಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ದಾವೆ ಇಷ್ಟು ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಹೀರೋ ಮತ್ತೆ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರೀ ಪಾಠದಿಂದ ಬರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಂಟ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಗ್ಯಾರಂಟಿ ಆಗಿ ಪಡೆಯುತ್ತೀರಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಓದಿ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಅಂಕಗಳನ್ನು ಗಳಿಸಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಮೊದಲ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಗನ್ಗೆ ಹೋಗೋಣ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ದ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅ ಬಾಯ್ ಹೂ ಹೈಲ್ ರಿಟರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಫಾಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಟೈಗರ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ಟೇಡ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಅ ಡೇ ಆನ್ ದ ಟ್ರೀ ಟಿಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಿಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಟೈಗರ್ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಇತ್ತು ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವೈ ವೇರ್ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಷನ್ ಶವರ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಕಾಟ್ ದ ನೋಟರಿಯಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಬ್ರೀಕರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಡ್ ದ ಪುಲೀಸ್ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ಮೇಟ್ಸ್ ಲುಕ್ಡ್ ಎಟ್ ಹೀಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ರಿಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟೀಚರ್ ಸ್ಪೇಟೆಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ದ ಹೆಡ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಸೇಡ್ ದಟ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೂ ಸ್ಕಾಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವೈ ಡಿಡ್ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಟು ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಆಫೀಸ್ ರೂಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೇಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ವಾಂಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಟು ಕಲ್ಟಿವೇಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಫಿಯರ್ ದ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಕರೇಜ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸ್ವಾಮೀಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಸೈಡ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾನಿ ಅವರ್ ಮದರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅ ಬೇಬಿ ವಾಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೇಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಲ್ದೋ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವೈ ಡಿಡ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಫೀಲ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಫಾದರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಫಿಯರ್ಫುಲ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಬಿಸೈಡ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾನಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ಯಾಸೇಜ್ ಈಫ್ ಎನಿ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಅವೇಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೆಮ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ನೆಕ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಫಿಯರ್ಫುಲ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವೈ ಡಿಡ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ಗ್ರ್ಯಾನಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮದರ್ ಹೈಲ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆಫೀಸ್ ರೂಮ್ ಟು ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಟು ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಆಫೀಸ್ ದಟ್ ಅ ನೈಟ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಾಸ್ ರಿಯಲಿ ಅಫ್ರೇಡ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಲುಕ್ಡ್ ಎಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೋಪ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ವುಡ್ ಸೇವ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದು ಇತ್ತು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅ ಕಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮೇಕ್ ಫೆನ್ ಹಿ ಹಿಯರ್ಡ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಫೆಲ್ಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಬಾಯ್ ಟು ಫೈಟ್ and he must have been a strong and grown up person who had done this seventh question as the night advanced swami felt that something terrible would happen to him what did happen as the night advanced everything became quiet his heart began to beat faster he remembered all the stories of devils and ghosts he had heard and was filled with fear every moment he expected that devil would come and carry him away eighth question Do you think Swami really wanted to join
Why did he make this remark to escape from his father? What did it show about his character? It was afraid to sleep alone. Ayo, something has beaten me. What is something refer to Swami? Why did he beat Swami? Thought that it was devil which had come to kill him. What was the result of this? The burglar was arrested. Ante it. Ina munde you need not risk uh, his life again. Ida idu kora note kori most important ada. Next, uh, how could a boy fight a tiger? Ante ida. So who is the speaker Swami? Who is the boy referred here? Village lad who fought with the tiger? Whom did the speaker ask his question to his father? Next, live alone strength. Can you prove you have courage? Who said this? Swami's father. You referred here, Swami. Why did speaker ask to Swami asked that how could the boy fight a tiger? Anta kanta do itto. In the next, live alone strength. Can you prove you have courage? Why did Swami feel so? Next, uh, what do you mean by proposition in the context? What was the frightful proposition? Anta kele dare. Itto kuda most important tiger anta kanta sentence itto. Next, you must sleep alone thereafter. Who said this? Swami's father. You referred here, Swami. Anta kele dare. Why did must sleep alone to prove his courage? Next, from the first of next month, uh, I will sleep alone. In today, I refer to Swami. Why did the speaker say so? It is a trick to escape from his uh, father' decision. What a reply did uh, the speaker get? His uh, father said Swami must sleep alone there after until he died. Next, uh, it is disgraceful sleeping beside a granny or mothers like a baby. Is it important? Uh, next, uh, boy, are you already feeling sleepy until he died? इधु कुड़ा नोड कोड़े इम्पोर्टेंट अदा नेक्स्ट डोंट यू वांट टू हियर अ स्टोरी इधु इम्पोर्टेंट अगर तक अंतर आरसी नेक्स्ट व्हाई डू यू टेक हिम टू द ऑफिस रूम लेट मी स्लीप इन द हॉल आई विल मेक यू लॉफिंग स्टॉक ऑफ योर स्कूल नेक्स्ट ही विश्ड दैट द टाइगर हैड नॉट स्प्रेड द ब� Next, a tiger was chasing him. This is the most important tiger. The second R C two. He only touched the wooden leg of the bench. Next, he used his teeth on it like a mortal weapon. Twenty-one. Swami hardly got up and spread his bed under the bench. And today, this is the most important tiger. The second R C two. In a four marks question, we are going to have three marks question. First question narrates Swami's dreadful experience when he was laying under the bench. Very most important, I guess. The second question. Is to worry because Swami lay under the Swami lay under the bench. Soon he fell asleep. He began to have a nightmare that a tiger was chasing him, and he could not escape from its claws. With a desperate effort, he opened his eyes. As he lay in fright, he heard a rustling sound. He tried to look out in the darkness and saw something moving. He felt that it was the devil that would surely attack him. He crawled from under the bench, caught hold of the figure and bit it hard to save himself. Anta itto. In a most important question, narrate how a coward boy Swami became a hero overnight. Ida, bhala important agar ta kanta question. Swami inevitably had to sleep in the office room. He spent that night with the fear of the devil and nightmare then he saw something moving in darkness he thought that he is a end had come and the devil had become to carry him away finally with an attempt for survival he hugged it with all his might and used his teeth as mortal weapon on it it was not the devil but the burglar who cried with agony and felt amidst the furniture with a bleeding ankle The notorious house breaker of the district was arrested by the police. The police were grateful to him. His classmates looked upon him with respect. His teacher petted him, and his headmaster appreciated that he was a true scout. Thus, unknowingly, Swami became a hero overnight. Anta bariveko. In a grandma climbs a tree. Very most important. Idan to kora fixa ki bharta da. So na ni ardmur paragraph kote ni chandanga dana bhar kodi mathe bahet matri. Summary of the poem Grandma Climbs a Tree. The poem Grandma Climbs a Tree is written by Ruskin Bond. In this beautiful poem, the poet calls his granny a genius because she could climb a tree even at the age of 62. She had learned it from her loving brother at the age of 6. Everybody feared that one day she could have a terrible fall. One day she climbed a tree but could not come down. After her rescue, the doctor advised her bedrest 
for a week. She felt like she was in hell. She called her son and ordered him to build a tree house. He fulfilled his mother's wish. Granny moved to her new house happily and enjoyed her olden sage. So, it is so. So, next, uh, the poet Ruskin Bond calls grandmother is a genius. So, I still know what I am going to do. I am going to do this. 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 This is the short summary of the short summary of the short summary of the short summary. The poet Ruskin Bond calls his grandmother as genius in the poem Ruskin Bond is the speaker. He speaks about his grandma. His grandma was 62 years old. She behaved like a child. She had childish nature. She learned to climb a tree from her brother at the age of 6. She could climb a tree very quickly even at the age of 62. Grandma felt happier on a tree than at home. One day she climbed a tree but could not come to home. After the rescue, the doctor suggested a weak bed rest. It was like a brief season in hell. She demanded a tree top house. The poet's father was dutiful. He built a tree top house with a door and windows. The poet and his father fulfilled her wish. So granny moved up and lived there happily with the sherry at the poet. This is a detail. This is a detail. So you have a short detail. So, we will learn more about this paragraph. Grandma climbs a tree in the next month. If you want to learn more about this, the hero and the grandma climbs a tree in the next month. The exact question is covered. So, if you want to learn more about the views, you can post this question in the next video. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much.